Hi everybody. Welcome from HBACR Design Engineering. I am Tu Yao. Now I want to talk about solo night bar using air conditioning and refrigeration system. Solo night bar used to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Solo night bar have bar body, but on the top they have a block which will have sun cable coming out once the bar was installed. Top part is solo night and the bottom part is bar. Therefore, making a solo night bar. Solo night bar allow engineer to remotely control the flow of fluid in the system. This fluid can be a liquid or gas, for example, water, air, natural gas, oil, steam, refrigerant, uh, etc. The solar life coil on the top is used to operate the bar by passing an electric current through it to create the electromagnet field and operate the bar. In commercial refrigeration system, we are certainly going to find at least one solenoid bar in the system and it is usually found in the liquid line near the expansion bar. You can see the you can see this example in air handling unit. This is a Deva the line. This is a Deva derived expansion cooling coil inside to control the temperature of the air being sent up, sent up around the building. The door expansion by cooling coil is always on when the system operates. But the second expansion by cooling coil only came on in the summer when the cooling load is too large for the single coil to handle. The solenoid bar is used here to isolate the second coil and the expansion bar. The controller then set signal to the bar to open and provide additional cooling. Another very common application for solenoid bar and refrigeration system is in the hot gas defrost line to control the flow of hot refrigerant into the evaporator during the defrost cycle. When the moisture in the air condenses on the tube of evaporator, it will freeze and cause it be up of ice. We need to remove this to ensure efficient operation. So, we open the solenoid valve to set hot refrigerant from the compressor to the evaporator instead of condenser. Then, once the defrost has completed, the solenoid valve shut and the system continues as normal in cooling mode. We have Two type of bar, normally open type and normally closed type. Let's look at the normally closed type first. Inside the bar, we have a mixture. The solenoid is placed on this and completely surrounded the mixture. So the mixture is at the center of the magnetic field. Inside the cylinder of the armature is a plunger and spring. The spring push the plunger down in a normally closed type bar because the plunger is down position to close the bar indefinitely. If the coil receives the electrical current, then it will generate an electromagnetic field and this magnetic field pass through the plunger and will cause it to move I work against the spring, therefore opening the bar. At the center of the coil, the magnetic field lies at the most compact and therefore the strongest. This is why we place the plunger in the center. Once the electrical current is stored and magnetic field disappears, and 
Then the spray will force plancha down again to close the bar. With normally open bar, we again have the coin sitting around the armature. But this time, the spray pushed the plancha in an upward position so that the bar is always open unless the solo night coin is power on. Once, one of the simplest to understand is we pass the current through the coin in opposite direction. That again create an electromagnetic field. First, this time, magnetic field push the plunger instead of pulling it. When the plunger is pushed, it will close the bar and stop the flow of fluid in the system. When the electric current is stopped, the spring then force the plunger back to the upward position and open the bar again. In this very sim simple fashion, the direction of the current flowing in the coil is what we determine whether the coil produces pulling or pushing, pushing force on the plunger. Thank you very much for watching my video.